Hello everyone, my name is Fox. Once again, we're going to be taking a look at the GPD Win Max. We're going to be taking a look at PS3 emulation. This is GPD's answer to a gaming laptop. It contains the i5-1035G7, 16 gigs of the fastest LPDDR4 RAM available, and 512 gig NVMe drive, which is about uh, 1.5 gigs read and write. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the GPU and CPU configuration. As you can see right here, the only thing that I've done is change the uh, resolution scale to 75%. Uh, additionally, I should have taken this as a sign, but my uh, my initial little mount for holding my camera for what I record with uh, broke. I should have taken that as a sign, but I've uh, kind of set up something else in the background. Let's go ahead and just jump into Persona 5 real quick. I will go ahead and switch over to gamepad mode right here and let that run. I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead of this. Alrighty, and we are in Persona 5. And we'll kind of just jump through the early stages of the game. Try to refocus so that it's not all shiny. Hey guys, what's going on? See some dust particles. I've tried cleaning this a, a million zillion times. You can see that there's, well I got fingerprints over here but nothing is over here. It's genuinely hard to get these last dust particles off. I should get like a, uh, those things that they use for glasses. Those cloths. Glasses cloths. Uh, so while this is loading, uh, some things out of here, um, I have been lowering the power limit. Uh, I've only done a few videos, but I have been testing this extensively in the background. Um, so there's been things that I've been trying to do. I've been using throttle stop to try to uh, undervolt, overvolt. Undervolting seemed to work, but when I do any type of bench, uh, gang bench, it doesn't actually result in anything worthwhile. Um, and because... We only have a 57 watt hour battery in here. That is super large for this device. I mean, this device is handheld. It's an 8 inch screen. Uh, a 57 watt hour battery is humongous for this size device. Um, but still, when, even though we have a 57 watt hour battery, with at, I had it at 24 watt, 25 watt. We're still using 35, 34 watts total system power when we start working uh, like for games and stuff. Um, and that really translates to like an hour and a half of battery life. So I've been trying to lower this power limit and seeing where that could actually get us. Uh, I've disabled two cores for different types of like DirectX 11 games, um, and that does get us better performance. So there will be tweaks and other things. There's a segment of games like DirectX 11 games from 2011 to 2015 that uh, will kind of punish this particular arrangement with how much wattage we're allowed to go. Um, and I'm trying to really kind of really dial in where I think, you know, there's acceptable battery life, because right now at 20 watt power limit, you can see our total system power is 28 watts, um, and that'll jump up to 29 watts, but that basically will get us pretty much two hours of battery life at a full charge, and two hours of battery life is, is really kind of what I considered, <laughs> I, I, it's a minimum for me, to be honest. Um, an hour and a half is very little. Um, it's basically barely my, like, it would fit my commute in there, but I wouldn't want to, like, be stressing out that I have to, like, if my commute goes longer, then that's it, I'm toast. Um, nothing's gonna, oh, that, let me just go ahead and skip this. Start, start to skip. Uh, let me not press the Xbox Home button to bring up that overlay. Um... So again, I've been just trying to lower the wattage and trying to find out what we can actually do within a 20 watt range. Um, all the videos that you're seeing, like uh, what Taki's putting up and stuff, he's running at the default TDP, which is uh, 25 watt PL1 and 30 watt uh, PL2. So he's going to be ranging a lot and he's going to be using a tremendous amount of power for his particular machine when it might not be totally necessary. There are games that it'll use it, the 1035 uh, G7 needs a lot of power to actually fully shine. It's no joke. Um, but I'm basically trying to figure out a happy medium here. Um, and there are methods that we can do that. Uh, so either trying to... I was trying to undervolt. So far I had zero... Well, success within th throttle stop alone. But outside of throttle stop, no. Um, so that remains to be seen. I'm still going to be doing some more testing there. I tried clock modulation, which does work, but we're not diverting power away from CPU and giving it to the GPU enough. Um, it's basically just not working out. Uh, so I'm still testing in the background. I've been working on this device literally the whole day. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, but basically, I'm just trying to find where we can get 
where's that sweet spot for us? Like, what is acceptable battery life and performance? Um, and it, it gets even more interesting when we start looking at, you know, running at 12 watt with two core, two CPU cores disabled. Uh, the CPU cores will still use all that power because they will uh, boost up to 3.4 gigahertz for dual core, uh, which does require a lot of power. And I don't really have any means to lower that ratio down. Um, so, it, you know, it's a work in progress. Um, I'm pretty confident that I can get better scores than the Win 2 at the same TDP when I remove two CPU cores. And that might be a, a, a worthwhile video to do on its own. Um, and then, you know, basically we're creating a super Win 2 when we disable two cores. Because we do have those uh, Sunny Cove cores instead of the Cabby Lake. Um, Hey, my reflection again. Let me go ahead and kind of, hopefully, there we go. That's a little bit better. But uh, if you guys just check out up here, I am running Vulcan. Uh, we are running 30 frames a second. This is the temperature of the chip itself, so we're at 63 degrees Celsius. Uh, the package power, again, is 20 watt. Um, the GPU clock, the GPU is doing nothing at the moment. And you can see it's going to jump up right there as we start moving around. But the GPU is barely doing anything here. Persona 5 is an excellent game to emulate. Another game... Whoa! That is super bright. I also have um, Demon Souls that I'm going to be demoing soon enough. I gotta really balance the lighting around here. I apologize, guys. I'll do that in the next video. Right now, I can't really do much because um, my current setup for this tripod is super precarious. I do apologize. Crumple paper. Yeah, I gotta lower these lights down. They're ridiculous. Normal is fine. Sure. You should know your place. Start. Alright, we're gonna do the uh, uh Phelps. Not that any of this was necessary. That is my name. I'm finished. Let's go ahead and fast forward when it gives us the option. And you can kind of see that, like, even though we're running 20 watt, uh, frame rate has been pretty much locked in at 30 frames a second. We have dipped a little bit before, but I'm mostly happy with. Um, performance so far at 20 watt um, and I, I'm kind of leaning towards 20 watt as what I would advise people to use on the Mac especially for just portable power considerations oh my God. get me out of the frame stop focusing on me my previous save. I'll just go ahead and make a new one. No, I don't. Let's just back up. Yes, please. Thank you kindly. And we'll kind of just go ahead and go into the city scape a little bit here, just so you can kind of see what's going on. I mean, it's super impressive, like, in terms of... I think if I just double-click here... Uh, and that'll make it go full screen. So we can get rid of that, you know, taskbar and stuff. Um, and take a look at the frame rate. We did 
we did jump down to the low uh, low 20s. We were at 21, although it didn't feel terrible. Like you didn't feel 20-ish. You know that win two 20 feel. It might be worthwhile to probably go uh, with a, a deeper resolution scale instead of 75%, maybe 50%. We, almost, we also might be like just stretching the limits of what we can do on the CPU end at 20 watt because we're not going to be delivering enough power. Let's go ahead and just... Let me go down here. I'm using the touchpad right now. We can just jump into Task Manager just so... I should really put it in, in CPU-Z. Um, we're just going to kind of take a look. So yeah, we're running at 1.7 gigahertz for each core. Um, RPCS3 does really like having uh, a lot of cores, um, but boosting that frequency would be beneficial here. We're down to 17 FPS. brief moment there. Probably just a busy city street. But with a game like Persona 5, you know, it's kind of, it's actually acceptable. There's no there's no reason that you need locked 30 FPS. It just feels nice. Just battles and, you know, turn-based stuff. Alright, well, this is a quick look at Persona 5 and PlayStation 3 emulation running on the Win Max within a TDP of 20 watt. Um, we could go up higher. I am really conflicted about going higher, especially for a portable mindset. Um, let me have a think about this and see what I can do. Um, but I think I'm going to really try to target 20 watt a lot. Uh, only because I feel like that is what I'm going to recommend. It was like when I had the Win 2, I was recommending 9 watt or 8.5 watt to a lot of people. And I think right now my recommendation is 20 watt uh, TDP just because it for battery life it's just kind of a two hour mark at least and we're given enough power I think we just have to work about you know kind of tweaking within this zone anywho um, as always guys thank you for your time and thanks for watching